Now, the Democratic Republic of Congo remains unstable. For the past 20 years, millions of Congolese have died to, due to wars and conflict. To talk more about how Congo got to where it is today and the possible way forward, I'm joined in studio by Cloud Gatebuke of the African Great Lakes Action Network. Cloud, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Yeah, now, as we mentioned there, you know, this country remains completely in a mess. There's no question about that. Uh, but uh, you were in a discussion yesterday here in Washington looking back 20 years. Do you trace the troubles of Congo today to 20 years ago? It's beyond 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. But the current players, mm -hmm. uh, the president of the Congo, the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, Joseph Kabila, was uh, installed as a result of the removal of Mobutu by the invasion, yeah. uh, Rwanda and Uganda invading the Congo and installing first his father, uh, Laurent Desiree Kabila. And then um, when he died, they installed the son. And today um, the DRC is struggling with multiple issues. Uh, the wars and conflicts that you mentioned, uh, displacement of people, uh, smuggling of minerals from the Congo, poverty, but the, the now, people... Yeah. Now, the overthrow of uh, um, um, the former president, uh, Mobutu Sese Seiko, for many was like a relief because he had been seen as an oppressive dictator. What went wrong after the installation of Kabila? People are hopeful. What is it that wasn't done? Yes, it was... Uh, the, the Congolese people were celebrating during the uh, invasion as the, uh, the AFDL, which was led by Kabila, um, and uh, the Uganda and Rwanda, people were celebrating. They were filling stadiums in jubilation mm -hmm. because they felt like they were being freed. But what went wrong was that it's hard for somebody to come in invading a country with a military and actually turn into a prosperous and democratic uh, But now country. that's looking at uh, the external yeah. forces that were involved. Uh, how is it that the Congolese themselves have been unable to get their act together? When you look at the uh, number of uh, rebel groups, the militias, and then the political uh, disagreements there, you feel that it is not so much about the internal external interference. What is it that has made it completely impossible for the people of Congo to come together and say, this is our nation, let's get together and do something positive? The Congolese people have been putting up uh, resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, however, they're fighting a bigger force than just the government of the Congo. Mm -hmm. So for example, just last year, yeah. there were demonstrations where um, dozens of people were killed. Yeah. Uh, and the Congolese people are still relentless. Yeah. But um, there is uh, the issue of uh, corrupt leaders. Yeah. Uh, that's the main obstacle. Yeah, because the whole question is about the leadership. I mean, you may say there is somebody outside trying to benefit from the resources of Congo, influencing the different political sides and the rebel groups. But at the center of it also is selfishness. When you look at the rebel groups, their leaders are all benefiting from the wealth of the nation. Those who are in the political system, the civilian rulers, they are all benefiting. So it is, uh, in as, as much as it has external issues, really an internal issue of leadership. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a report that showed that uh, Joseph Kabila yeah. has over $300 million uh, in various mines and, and others. And he was also named, yeah. uh, and his sister named in the uh, Panama reports yeah. that showed leaders around the world um, smuggling the wealth of their countries uh, to uh, into that Panama investment yeah. and this is no different that Mobutu who bankrupted the country yeah. for his own benefit and the rebel leaders are the same way they're yeah. looking for um, a way to to make some money some everybody is trying and to get exploit something. the people and the question then, is today and that is a fact everybody's trying to benefit but what could be the possible solution resolution to this problem so that Congo can at least for once hopefully have peace there, it, it, it boils down to two, two major uh, areas. There's internal and external. The Congo issue is both internal and external. On the internal level, um, the Congolese people must, the, the, the general population must continue to come together. We've seen demonstrations from 
Kinshasa all the way across the country to Goma. You know, continue to resist the uh, current leadership because as of now, according to the Congolese uh, constitution, President Kabila should not be the president because his term expired on December 19th. The other piece is the international community has been very tolerant, not only of Kabila, but the whole region. If you look at what's happening in the region, we've yeah. got presidents that want to stay as presidential monarchies, yeah. um, you know, so from Angola to, to Congo to Rwanda to Burundi to So um, all those nations, Uganda. I mean, people have yeah. to say no. And we're hoping that uh, there will be a new chapter in the Congo, hopefully in the coming months or a few years, because it's really a pathetic situation. There will Thanks be. a lot for your insights, Cloud. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's uh, Claude Gatsabuke, who is with the African Great Lakes Action Network.